artists out there, um, welcome to your last round of your remote art experience. Uh, this week, we're going to do a self-portrait. So we're going to look at the work of Frida Kahlo. There's a little video. Um, it's pretty short. Just want you guys to watch it. She had a, a, a really very interesting life. Um, working in Mexico, uh, she married a very famous um, mural artist, political activist, uh, Diego Rivera. But I, I love looking at her work for self-portraits because she really used her experience and brought all these things around her in a lot of symbolism to add to her self-portraits. So let's look at this quickly. Can you see that? Mm -hmm. So um, this is her self-portrait of uh, a hummingbird with cat and monkey. So this is a lot of meaning. Um, hummingbirds normally very colorful. Uh, she chose to not have the hummingbird so colorful because this was a moment in her life where she was going through a difficult time. Um, she did have a pet monkey and she had this cat who actually looks a lot like Chica, Chica our kitty. Speaking of. I'll post a pic of Chica. So in your self-portrait, I would like for you to include, you know, kind of, you know, this portrait from kind of the shoulders up. So you're gonna fill the frame mostly with you. But I'd like you to add some animals that have meaning for you. Um, even just some simple birds. I will post uh, a how to draw birds because she has also done um, a, a lot of self-portraits with birds and I'll post those examples as well. My cameraman is moving around a lot because he's itchy because he came from the woods and he thinks he has ticks all over him. That's because I found 20. I know, but okay, but not only anymore. Yeah. Listen, when you're a cameraman, it doesn't matter how many ticks are going. You stop bouncing around. Um, all right, so. I don't have a stabilizer. We're going to do just a little demo of a self-portrait, okay? And I will post, or also post it, our um, some general guidelines. So can you actually see? Yeah, I can. Okay. So this is your frame. So your head, kind of an egg shape. And, you know, I'm not necessarily, it doesn't have to look exactly like you. Because that's really hard to do. Um, but you can include things that um, are really suggestive of you. So I had a student in my last band, younger student, who has bunch of freckles and he included all his freckles and that was cool because that helped me see he included these that little special thing about himself so your eyes sort of egg shape your eyes are about you know halfway down mm, they're not up here eyes sort of football shape and this is all general you know we all have different um shaped everything so if you just give yourself some sight lines and if you have a different way of drawing your self-portrait, that is fine. But if you're gonna go, I just want to give you kind of an idea of how anatomically you could try and draw it. So nose, that's gonna vary about halfway down from your eye to your chin middle of your mouth, about halfway down from there. Okay, and again, everybody's face is different. Don't forget your eyebrows. This is just sort of a rough sketch here. Um, your ears are gonna fall in kind of this zone. Your neck comes down actually out from your ears. Well, because I wasn't a great Air Force pilot, so you know you had to do something else. Anyway, 
So hair, obviously, everybody's hair is different. Um, and again, I will draw some, or uh, posted our, just some guidelines for self-portraits. I would add, what do I wanna add? What animal has some symbolism for me? You know what, I love I'm crows. Done. I know, but I just do love a crow. So I'm gonna have a crow kind of looking over at me. Now, it would be cool if you can include two animals. Um, if you can only fit one, that's okay too. You can add color, you can leave it just sort of outlined. Um, I'm gonna do a fish as my necklace, because I love the ocean. I don't know what kind of fish that is, it's sort of a weird thing, but. Anyway, that is um, just a, a quick general um, demonstration of the structure of the face and the head and some basics. So, there's a video, Frida Kahlo, watch that way she incorporates um, not just her image, but these things that are important to her in her self-portrait. Um, and then there is your self-portrait. I can't wait to see what you do.